I learned how to perfectly transition my brown roots to Barbie blonde hair. And I know it sounds cliche, but I can't believe I finally figured it out. And I no longer have to spend way too much money on salon appointments. Growing up at five years old, I started developing dark brown roots. At age five, I began the fake blonde process. Surprise, surprise, I'm 100% fake blonde. I honestly have been stuck in the chapter of every two months going to the hair salon and paying $120 for a one hour hair visit. But I'm proud to say that chapter is now closed. A new one has begun and that's why I'm making this YouTube video. The best thing we can do in life is try to save time and money. And I'm excited to say I have figured out both. In regards to my hair, while the routine is freshly imprinted in my mind, here is my at-home blonde root routine. I still remember this sinking feeling the first time as a 16-year-old I had to pay for my own, out of my own paycheck for my hair appointment. Growing up, they drill into you. If you do your own hair yourself, you're going to mess it up and it's going to look cheap. Guess who fell for that advice? Lucky guess, me. But here's the thing, I disagree. Doing your hair at home means you save time from having to drive there. Doing your own hair at home means you save money because you don't have to tip anyone. Doing your hair at home means developing a new skill that can make you feel and look your best. Being dedicated to salon, salon trips for 12 years of my life has been draining on my bank accounts and my time. This is where the birth of my at-home blonde hair routine began. Tip number one, if you're wanting to approach dyeing, highlighting, or any hair product routine, go to the store Sally's. Sally's has workers that have to take courses in hair so they're educated for your hair needs and what the customer should buy. Tip number two, be straightforward and ask for advice on what you're exactly needing. And I challenge you to be blunt. Tell them, do you know the correct process? Or can you just text your coworker that might be more knowledgeable than you in hair and ask them the question? The worst someone can do is tell you no. So go for it, girl, and ask exactly what you're looking for at Sally's. Tip number three, make sure you purchase a hair lift with your lightener and make sure you purchase a developer with your toner. If you follow these three tips, you will be golden and hopefully have spectacular hair. We hope you guys have a great rest of your night. We hope you enjoyed the show and thank you and good night. Peace out y'all.